is it? 14 1. Congratulations. Density <laughs> mountaineering is not very possible without certain specialized tools. These are split into three categories in the order they're usually acquired. First, clothing, which is to mean anything worn on your person for warmth and protection. Next, equipment, which generally means things that make camping, cooking, and other such essential activities possible. And then gear, which is all items that are required to actually do the climbing. Now, of course, there are some items that fit into more than one category. The purpose of separating them in this way is a way to think of them as distinct yet intertwined systems that work together to help you climb in the most efficient, safe, and comfortable way. Well, most folks come to climbing with some of one ca category and gradually flesh out the others. The one that most folks start with is a smattering of clothing that is more or less up to the demands of mountaineering. Newbies to mountaineering will do just fine in those first outings with clothing acquired for other sports or activities. Things like backpacking, hiking, skiing, and rock climbing all use clothing that easily crosses over into mountaineering. The same can be true for the equipment category. Much of what is used for backpacking and camping is adequate for the first journeys in the mountains. So if you're climbing with more experienced partners, chances are that they will have the right equipment for the job and they're willing to share. As for gear, these items are some of the last things you may acquire personally because they're expensive and they need to be carefully chosen. Borrow or rent them to get started until you know what you're looking for and what you'll truly need. So to understand clothing, equipment, and gear that is usually required for mountaineering, consider this basic packing list for a typical three-day summer climb. Clothing. A synthetic or wool, wicking, top, and bottom base layer. Then, an insulating or windproof mid-layer jacket and pants. Next, water and rim resistant outer layer jacket and pants. Then an insulating synthetic or wool parka, wicking socks and liner socks, waterproof climbing gloves, liners if desired, and mitten shells if desired, a warm knit hat, a lightweight hat with a bill that will fit under your climbing helmet and a balaclava or a neck gaiter. Waterproof com crampon compatible mountaineering boots with a stiff shank and gaiters. Equipment. A strong three or four season tent with rainfly and guy lines. A mummy style sleeping bag rated below freezing a sleeping pad or mat, a compact portable camp stove and fuel for your stove type, a pot with a lid, a mug and or a bowl with a spoon, trekking poles with snow baskets, A 40 to 60 liter backpack built for climbing, sunglasses or goggles, water bottles or containers with the collective 2 liter capacity, large scale and small scale maps of the area with route description if possible, a compass, a headlamp, a knife, lighters or matches, personal items such as sunscreen and lip balm, and any emergency items. Gear. A lightweight compact harness, a climbing helmet, an ice axe, Crampons fit to your boots, two locking carabiners, 
and two slings, one single, 24 inches, and one double, 48 inches.